Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this soda cap. Let's hop right to it. First things first, let's start out by creating a new component. I'm going to just call this soda cap. Let's create a sketch and let's put it on the top plane. Start out with a center point circle. I'm going to make this about 30 millimeters. Okay. I'm going to use the three point arc tool. Wait till it touches the top, bring it down. You want to constrain this to the center point. Okay. And we're going to make the length from here to here 4.71 millimeters. Okay. I'm going to make this radius. Three millimeters. Now it's fully defined. What we want to do now, use the circular pattern tool, select this profile, select the center point. Okay. And we want to make it about 20, actual 20 items of this. Click OK. And there you have it. All right. Let's go ahead and Finish the sketch. Let's use the extrude tool. Select the inside profile and extrude it about 0.1 millimeters. Okay. All right. What we want to do now is use the offset plane. Select this face and want to offset it about four millimeters. Okay. I'm going to create a sketch on that face we just created. Excuse me, the plane we just created. All right, center diameter circle, make this about 26.5 millimeters. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. Let's go ahead and create a sketch on this face here. Use the project tool, select bodies, select this outside and click OK. Okay, go ahead and finish the sketch. All right. What we want to do now is select the loft tool, select this profile, this profile, and just click OK. All right. We want to create an, another offset plane on this face, make it about three millimeters. We're going to create a sketch on this face we just, excuse me, the plane we just created. Okay. Center diameter circle. I'm going to make this about 25 millimeters. Okay. Finish the sketch. I'm going to use the loft command again. Select this face and his profile. Click OK. All right. What I want to do now is give this edge here a 2.5 millimeter fillet. Okay. What we're going to do is create a sketch, but we're going to put it on the top plane again. We're going to draw a center diameter circle. And we're going to bring it out till about 35 millimeters. All right, and so what we're going to do is the extrude tool. We're going to extrude inward and we're going to make this about 0.1 millimeters. It's going to cut inside. Just trimming the bottom of that. Okay. Next, we're going to use the shell command. I want to make this about 0.3 millimeters. Click OK. All right. Last but not least, let's go ahead and add a decal to it. Top plane. 
Make sure it's right side up. Insert decal. And I have a decal that I use. And it's this one here. I created an Adobe, uh, <clears throat> I use Adobe Illustrator to actually modify an existing one. It's a little bit more complicated, but you get the gist of it. Select this face. Okay, let's go ahead and size it. Let's bring it down a little bit, expand it out. And let's turn off chain faces. So it will only appear on this face. And click OK. And then you can give it a color, obviously a red color. Let me see, we go with aluminum. And a dye is glossy red aluminum. And you can basically change it to whatever you want. You can make it lighter, dark. Let's give it more of a bright red color. There we go. And if we were to try to render this, let's go ahead and see what happens. Set the parameters in canvas render. Let's shift the rotation of the lights a little bit. Give it a little gloss. A little depth of field, make this about 0 0.03. That's okay where it is. Close this out. Let it render a little bit. And that's pretty much it. Your soda cap. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.